Rub these hats, too. Come on, stretch, Sally. You ain't no actress.
the chairman and my friends. No man could fail to be moved by the warmth of the generous reception that I have received in the home of my distinguished opponent. This campaign now draws near to a close. The platforms of the two parties defining the principles offering the solutions of various national problems have been presented in our bearing earnestly considered by our people. Now there has been revived in this campaign a series of proposals which, if adopted, would be a long step towards the abandonment of our American system and a surrender to the destructive theory of governmental operation of commercial business. Because the country is faced with difficulty and doubt over certain national problems, that is, prohibition, farm relief, and electrical power, our opponents propose that we must thrust the government a long way into business, the businesses which give rise to these problems. In effect, in effect, they abandon the tenets of their own party and turn toward state socialism as a solution for the difficulties presented by all three. <laughs> it is a false liberalism in our country that interprets itself into the government operation of commercial business. Every step of bureaucratization of the business of our country poisons the very roots of liberalism, that is, political equality, free speech, free press, equality of opportunity. It is the road not to more liberty, but to less liberty. <laughs>